So about a week ago now, I was uploading a video to YouTube and suddenly out of nowhere, I got a lot of messages and they were all redirecting me back to a YouTube channel that I've been a fan of now for a while, Matty Craft. And I was being told by everybody to watch a particular video and a particular time frame of the video. And here's what I found. The Domain, as you know him, he is a very popular Halo Mega Constructs YouTuber. Tell him to watch this video as a video on his channel. That would be absolutely crazy if we did that, guys. That would be so much fun and so cool. So, challenge accepted, absolutely I would love to make a video like that. I hit Matty up on his personal Discord very quickly and we came to an agreement. I am going to make a reaction video on his favorite three customs that he's made. The first two are sort of like a primer to the big one. A scarab. I mean, I've skimmed the video and this thing looks absolutely wild. And hopefully this will bring a lot of attention over to Matty because he is a very tireless worker. He has a very tight upload schedule and he's really pushing for those subs. I, I've seen his subs grow a lot recently. So hopefully by the end of this video, you will be 100% convinced to go subscribe to Matty Crafts. All right, we've got two six minute videos followed by the big boy. So I'm gonna fire one of them up. It's called the Halo Mega Constructs Custom Banished Grunt Ring Fighter. I don't know how a grunt can be a ring fighter, but I'm pretty excited to find out. All right, we start off with a cool little stop motion. That's awesome. So interestingly, Matty Crafts is actually one of the first YouTubers that I was inspired to buy the equipment to do a top-down camera angle. I have a tripod, but not one that had a ball joint, and watching his videos with his top-down approach really made me push for a top-down tripod, and I've never looked back. And yeah, guys, you can actually send him figures to custom, and I'll link a video on him talking about his process for ordering customs at the end of this video. It's a blue new mold grunt and he's got a gravity hammer. I've never thought of a grunt with a gravity hammer before, but I, I, I'll be excited to find out how this turns out. Immediately, like, Matty is just so good with modeling clay. Like, I don't know the ins and outs of what kind of clay he uses, but he sees inside the matrix, basically. Like, he knows up front, is that a unicorn? Is that, <laughs> are, you, are you giving him a unicorn head? <laughs> He's already got some kind of cool vein going over his propane, methane, butane tank, whatever it is. And some kind of like needler weapon on his on his arm. Nice, this is like banished color scheme, I like it. And also Matty shares my passion for including awesome Halo music in your videos. I don't understand when YouTubers don't even use Halo soundtrack. I mean, it's the greatest gift to a content creator imaginable. Wow, this is awesome. He's like putting such a cool silver finish on it. It'll be interesting to see how he adds highlights to this at the end. He's like, he's dry brushing it now, I guess. Especially with Warhammers, I love to have a dark color scheme to my figure and then add a sort of a neon or a bright color at the very end to just make it pop out. He's added this cool sort of purple plasma. Is that, is that blood? Is that going to be like covenant blood all over the grunt? That's badass. That's he's got some kind of like hunter arm. Yeah, what a fantastic grunt. I mean, most custom workers will usually just that they they might add a couple of molding aspects, but only if it's to match the exact profile of the figure. This one, I mean, this is clearly invented by Matty, and he's added so many details. This like pipe that runs through the tank. He's got his claw arm then some kind of molding all across the gravity hammer. This looks awesome. And then I guess he's splattered with like purple blood. I'm very impressed. All right, that's the first one out of the way. The Banished Grunt Ring Fighter. I guess for elite entertainment, they might just throw some grunts in a ring and they can fight to the death. All right, we're gonna watch the second one. And this one, I definitely saw it on Twitter or Reddit or somewhere at first. This one's a little bit weird. This 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 one goes to a dark place. The second video we're watching today is entitled Halo Mega Blocks Mock Diorama Elite Flood Cult. A flood cult. And they're talking to the proto grave mine. This can only be awesome. 
Okay, okay. The intro was a little too short. The intro clip could have been a little longer. So this one is going to be like a full diorama. The other one was just a figure. I guess we're building up more and more. Cutting out this foam. I, I used to love working with foam back in the day. When I first had the SS Motion, we used to go to a guy called... Ah, he conveniently was called Matty as well. He was called Matty Vickers. We'd go to his farm in Durham in the countryside of England and he had this huge like metal wire that you could heat up and then like slide the foam over and it would cut through. It was a very cool tool. We used it to create a bunch of Halo weapons and then we'd use them as display pieces and also cosplay items at Bloxfest every year. And this one, I mean, he's just going at a pace. The good thing about like a Gravemind hideout is the tiles don't have to be accurate. They can just be like roughly cut sort of medieval-esque. To have the vision to be able to just get all these pieces of foam and then slap it, I mean, I'm saying this right now and I know that this, this scarab is gonna blow my mind in comparison to this. I love that dry brushing on the walls, adding that light gray texture, that's really cool. And again, like, it's a, it's a run down sort of hideout so everything can be rough. If you go to like Hobbycraft or like old train stores, like model train stores, you can buy little clumps of moss, little clumps of weeds. They look really nice in there. Oh, I guess this is an existing build because he just pulled this flood out of nowhere. This looks insane. Is this the proto grave mine? Oh my God. Is that a marine head? You can use a very light watered down paint to just quickly mop over the figure and the water sort of runs into the cracks and then when it dries, it adds like a, a hidden depth to the figure. But he's just like dunking it straight in that mixture. Yeah, he's leaving no prisoners. I mean, why not? If it's the proto grave mine, that thing is disgusting. He's probably covered in mold and dirt. What are you gonna do with that paper? Oh my God, he's chaining the thing up. I guess there's some sort of hobby chains as well. You can buy an amazing amount of things from like hobby shops. They're like model scales, so they're all perfectly compatible. I used to have my Master Chief playing like a little craft guitar that I bought for like, 10 cents. They're feeding the marine to the proto grave mine. That's disgusting. Oh no, those two marines are just looking at each other like, this is it boys. Oh cool, those fabrics are like on the walls. I'm kind of hoping looking at this that Matty has taken inspiration from me on those like slow pan cinematic clips. If you're using a phone for those, a very easy way to improve it is with Osmo Mobile. I don't use mine nearly enough, but in my Infinity vs. Forward Unto Dawn video, it creates that panoramic shot for a little expensive, but it is worth it. And anything other than that, it's a little difficult, especially with a handheld camera, to get 100% smooth. It's always a little shaky. Oh yeah, and he's using those old Elite Zealots from Halo 4. They used to come in like every Mega Block set, so they're pretty easy to come by, very disposable. The whole thing is like, a, it's a work of art. At first, I didn't really know what he was doing with those fabrics, but on the wall, they do look cult-esque. I'd like to know the story behind this because the proto Gravemind is the one in chains. So I guess the, I don't know why the elites are worshiping him. You have these two Marines kind of like, what the heck is going on? Trying to see if they could escape, one guarding them, the other two elites are chanting as this one has a giant pole at the back of that Marine's neck. And then the proto Gravemind is just kind of sitting there chained up, which he could probably escape whenever he wanted, but the elites keep bringing him food. So why would he leave? He's gonna use these elites until he's strong enough to kind of be on his own. This was a cool one, Matty. This was very cool. I, I like that we moved from one custom figure to a diorama. Now we're going to unpackage the beast, the big boy himself. We're going to dive straight into this Halo Mega Construct, Halo Infinite Banished Scarab for mock and dioramas. Brackets made with EVA foam. <laughs> I think the tiles could be shortened a little bit, but I'm so excited to see what this looks like and if it's in the scale for with Mega Constructs. One of my prized pieces in my collection is the Action Click Scarab. Wow, straight out of the box, we've got a lot to see on the screen here. That Scorpion looks badass. We got a hijacked Banshee and then a Covenant Dropship. There's a lot to watch on Maddie Craft's YouTube channel. Even when I looked recently, like he's uploaded almost every day that for the past like two weeks. That guy is as much of a machine as I am. Like, I, even though his videos take a lot longer to make, it's also really nice to see that Matty's confidence on camera has grown a lot over the past like month. One of the tips I can give for when you're talking on camera is once you've split up all the clips, detach the audio and slightly blend and fade the audio between every single video clip. That way you don't have like jarring stops between each video clip. Right, let, let's, let's get into this. I said it in the last video and now I'm gonna say it tenfold on this one. 
to have the vision to be able to know where to make those cuts and how to fit this together when you've not done it before is wild. It's it's far beyond my ability. I would also like, I've been meaning to for a while make some custom figures of my own. I've got a lot of Warhammer paints. I think this video series might inspire me to do it. Is it kind of weird that this is reminding me of baking? <laughs> in, in a way that when you like make a, a really interesting cake, you like form the layers and a lot of the time it looks like it's all sort of crumpled and random and like you're sort of just fitting bits together, but when you put once you put the icing on top, it all just like pops together. I've been watching a lot of bacon shows. <laughs> okay, that ring in the middle looks awesome. It's gonna definitely be the support structure. Wow, wow, to, to have those kind of like, like the scarab is an alive beast full of Legolo worms, you know? To have those sort of like, they look like pincers that perfectly form and fit onto each other, that looks awesome for like for like this vehicle that is alive, you know? It's gotta feel like a living creature. Also, the, the big challenge with this, and what I'm really looking forward to seeing if he pulls off, is getting all the legs the same height. Like, having all of these four things that have been carved from raw foam to balance properly with each other. Like, even when you go to a restaurant and you have a chair that has one leg that's slightly too short. I'm interested to see if he pulls it off. Alright, a full coat of black paint. Oh, th oh yes! That's perfect. That's fantastic. Using a dark coat of paint to just cover all the foam, make sure everything's completely covered. Then put in that flat grey coat on top. The highlights of red, that's why the Banished is so loved right now. Like that red popping off some dark colors, just, it just works so well. Ooh, that yellow. It looks like the cannon is just charging up. Like I can see that cylinder like spinning inside, like about to propel some electricity or plasma out of it. And then another classic technique, using toothpicks, surprisingly very effective to hold together the pieces that you want and to sort of hold it in place while the glue dries. You just want it to be able to be bound enough while that glue dries and then the toothpicks don't even matter anymore. Oh, it's finished? Where did that come from? What? Wow. I like the shots to change at exactly the right moment when the music changes, but if it doesn't feel right, I'll just stick a blend in there, like a crossfade. Absolutely massive. Look at this thing. It's knocking everything over. Just looking at him holding that thing. I mean, it's, it's, it's wild. And we are finished. First of all, Matty, thank you very much for those kind words at the end of the video. I really do appreciate that. And and really, I mean, you guys should all go and support him right now. There are a lot of actual ways to support Matty. First of all, you can check out the link that I'm going to put in the description where you can actually send him customs or buy figures. Then go and like and subscribe to his YouTube channel. Go and like his Scarab video for sure. And check out his Discord as well. We're good friends with our Discord and we share members, it's a cool experience. And th this, I mean, I just can't wait to see you grow more and more. You are producing far higher quality content than when I got started on YouTube. And all of these customs, they are perfect. I mean, the people here just love custom figures and vehicles. I would probably work on blending some of your video footage and maybe the titles of your videos, but other than that, they are flawless and I can't wait to see more. That styrofoam is just, it really wants to get me back into custom making. I used to love making weapons with foam and I don't have the tools here now, but seeing how you do it, I mean, you barely use anything. It's just a glue gun, some toothpicks and a knife. I mean, they're fantastic. Bravo on that scarab, bravo. If you are a YouTuber watching this and you would like me to make a video about your channel, hit me up, send me a message on all of my platforms. This was another video with The Domain with Matty Crafts as well. Thank you very much for tuning in today. And the Hornet is buzzing its way off. Ooh.